The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 802 Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is a podcast strategist, a voice coach, and a voiceover artist, and I'm really excited to have her on and share her story with us today on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Mary Chan. Mary, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Yeah. Hi. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I was uh, born in Vancouver in Canada. My parents immigrated here back in the late 70s. And being from traditional Chinese parents, youngest of three, I was always told to be quiet, wait my turn, stop laughing, you know, and I realized that growing up, no, I don't want to wait my turn. I have something important to say. And so I went through a radio career for about 20 years and I really just love using my voice and empowering others to use their voice too. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Mary, what's your favorite quote? My favorite quote is actually from Gandhi. I'm not really a big quote person, but I've been hearing this one being said to me. I've read it online a few times. And so it's just really my quote of the moment. And it's, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And it goes back to the voice thing where I wanted to change things. I, why did it always have to be this certain way? And I should be doing this and should be doing that when I wanted it to be different. So I went after it and I changed my situation. Thanks for sharing that great quote. And yeah, you know, a lot of people realize like if they want the change, it really has to start with themselves, whether it's you want more representation, you want to go after that dream job or dream career that you want. It really has to start with you. So I really love that quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how do you define self-confidence? To show up and to be brave, to really speak your truth no matter what. So if you feel like there might be fear of being judged from other people or fear of maybe I'm not good enough or I might be seen as an imposter, you need to show up still and use your voice and to speak whatever it is that is on your mind because those fears that you have probably isn't true. Thanks for sharing that great definition and totally no self-confidence. To me, it's always well, for me, it's like, even though you're scared, you just have to push through it because we've all been through, you know, those fears. We have like sweaty palms. We get nervous. We we feel nauseated. We feel like throwing up. We feel like, you know, butterflies in our stomach. All of that, we all go through it. But it's just when you push through it and realize like it's not as bad as you think it is, it'll really push you to keep on going, right? No matter what. So thanks for sharing that great definition. And Mary, what was that? What was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Well, as I mentioned a little bit before, I am the youngest of three. And also, you probably can't tell just from by listening to my voice, but being Asian, also very short. I was always the smallest in my class. And so I was always portrayed as the cute one. Oh, isn't she adorable? And I never, ever wanted to be that type of girl. I always felt that, why do I have to be cute? I'm still a person. I'm strong. And so I spoke too fast, talked too loud, and physically tried to be bigger in my space just so I could be seen and heard. And I knew that wasn't the way to go. And I had to change the way I was acting in order to be seen and heard as the big person that I was. Thanks for sharing that. What was that moment in your life when you realized, you know, you do have that confidence to go out there, you know, to be seen and be that person that you are today? It was when I decided to go to radio school. I was doing a lot of recordings and I realized I didn't like the sound of my voice. It sounded like I was that little girl I was talking about before. And my voice was kind of cute and I was talking up here and I didn't want to sound that way. I wanted to sound like a person that can captivate the room. So I worked on my voice to really showcase who I felt I am on the inside. It reflected my voice on the outside. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I can relate to you because when I first started the po- this podcast, one of my biggest like worries was like not wanting to hear my voice. I think that's something we all get go through. I mean, 
you know, it's just like the inner critic in us, the self doubt, and especially how we're brought up. And I'm glad you're able to, you know, share with us how, you know, you decided to just craft it to your true self. And, you know, because of that, what's your life been like now? Because of all of that, I realized that your voice really represents your emotions and your self confidence. So, like I was saying, if you're going to be talking up here, then people are going to keep continuing to call me a cute little girl. And so I needed to change that. I needed to change the fact that I didn't want people to call me that. And so discovering this was so freeing that I could use my voice to its fullest and to get that self confidence I needed to say what I needed to say in that moment and to get behind what I call this voice mask that I've had for so long that I was being this other person that really was not myself at all. Thanks for sharing that. You know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey to self-confidence. What'd be that one tip you'd give to her? As we've been saying, to use that fear or that nervousness that you might have in your voice to really power your message because the voice is the most direct way to connect with a person, like emotion to emotion. The words alone will never convey that same emotion. So you have to have that confidence to use your voice, to be heard. And especially right now, we need to hear diverse voices more than ever. And to think that, oh, I don't know if I like the sound of my voice or if I have anything important to say is not true. You have an important message and you can transform someone's life just by speaking out loud. So speak unapologetically with passion. Thanks for sharing that great tip. And I love how you mentioned, yes, we, you know, we're all here on this earth for a reason. And I think sometimes we just forget that, you know, we do have a powerful story. We do have something that we can share to the world that can create a positive impact on someone. And, you know, it, all it takes is creating that positive impact on one person because you never know where that one person can go to, right? So I think it's really important to share our voices, like you mentioned, especially now, right? More than ever, it's like, I know sometimes we're too afraid and we just want to hide from everyone. But like, if there's something that can really like create that positive impact, you have to be that change and go out there and share your voice, even if it's scary, because we've all been through it. We've been through that fear. We know what it's like. We know it can really like, you know, paralyze us sometimes, but we really have to put that first step, right, to keep going. So I really love that tip that you mentioned. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do and check out some of your work, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, so I have my own podcast too on voice and you can find that at the visiblevoicepodcast.com. You can just search Visible Voice. And also I'm very active on Instagram. So you can find me there at Organized Sound Productions. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Mary, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Mary's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Mary today for taking the time to share her story and journey with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much, Mary. Thank you so much, Sheena, for having me. This has been great. Not a problem. It was really great having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com to check out cool resources, blog articles, show recaps, and so much more. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.